Jägermeister. Yes, we've all had Jäger bombs, probably had millions of them. However, do you know how versatile Jäger is in cocktails? Keep watching Lex Talk Drinks and you're going to find out. Okay guys, Jägermeister. It is massive in Australia, but probably for the wrong reasons. It is mostly drank with Red Bull in a Jäger bomb. However, uh, I love using it in cocktails. I love drinking it just on ice. It really is an Amaro. It's a digestive. It's got what? 56 different botanicals. I was told that it was created in 1935, but the bottle says 1878. Pretty sure I'd probably be the one that's wrong with that. And today I want to make three Jägermeister cocktails that are delicious and really easy to make. Jägermeister holds a special part in my heart because it was the first ever national cocktail competition that I won back in 2011 with my bar manager at the time from Cloud9, which was the name of the bar that I had back in those days, uh, Pete Evans. This is us here, or here, wherever it's gonna go, and uh, we're pretty uh, stoked to win that competition. We had to make a cocktail, which it was this one. We had to do a written test, and we had to play Buckmeister Hunter, which is like a, uh, a, a, a game where you're shooting deers and so forth, and everything tallied up, and we were lucky to take out the win. Now, this is the Banana Buckmeister. Uh, also featured in Gaz Regan's 101 uh, Best Cocktails a few years ago. RIP Gaz, uh, keep watching guys. I've got some really nice videos of Gaz Regan's cocktails and, and some videos from the Joy Mixology coming up soon. I'm gonna get straight into it. The first ingredient obviously is Jägermeister and we're going 45 mils or ounce and a half for my wonderful American viewers. Next up, I'm going to use 15 mils of a banana liqueur. Now, back in the day, we used uh, Lena banana, which was made by Suntory. It's like the Maduri, but the banana version. We don't have it here in Australia at the moment, so I'm going to use a, a Monon banana syrup. 15 mils, Jägermeister and banana, right? Actually works. Then we have 15 mils or half an ounce of fresh lemon juice, just to balance out that sweetness of the banana and 45 mils of orange juice. We want freshly squeezed, it's really important. And last but not least, three to four dashes of Regan's orange bitters. Once again, to add a little bit of complexity to that and balance out that sweetness. And add some ice. Give it a really good shake. All right, I actually haven't drank this um, in 10 years since I won that competition. So it'll be interesting to see how it is nowadays. So my palate has definitely changed a lot over the last 10 years. We double strain that into a chilled glass. And for my garnish, just an orange twist. I like to just peel it over the top so those essential oils go over the top of the drink there. That's the Banana Buckmeister. Let's see how we go. Not the prettiest of colours to be honest. Looks a little bit like swamp juice. Alright. It's pretty good. A little bit on the sweet side for me nowadays. However, that Jägermeister totally comes through. The banana, the orange, I'm getting the orange now at the back, which is, uh, it's funny the way that all these flavors are sort of, uh, the complexity, they're just sort of like unwinding as you go. You get to taste every single element as you go along. Better than what I imagined or remembered actually. Um, I thought it would have been way sweeter. As I said, my palate has definitely changed a lot. It's worth trying, guys. Might even chuck this on a menu. I think this would do really well here at um, 18th Amendment Bar. All right, that's Jägermeister number one cocktail done. Next up, we're going to do the Black Forest Sour. And obviously, the first ingredient is Jägermeister, and we're going to do 40 mils. Or an ounce and a third. What I love about these cocktails is they're not going shy on the Jägermeister either. You know, if you're gonna do a Jäger cocktail, put a fair bit in there. Next up, five mils. 
of a cherry brandy. I'm using the cherry herring. Then 20 mils or two thirds of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. 15 mils of pineapple juice. Another 15 mils of egg white or aquafaba. I'm using the aquafaba in this one. And last but not least, 10 mils or a third of an ounce of sugar syrup. I'm gonna give it a dry shake first. I normally forget to do this. All right. Add some ice, give it another really big shake. All right, so we're going to double strain this over ice in a rocks glass. And for the garnish, a lemon twist. Now this isn't one of my creations, and unfortunately I don't know who created this, it's just a random uh, recipe that I found online. If you're watching the video and you created it, let me know. So I'm honestly going to try it for the first time right now. All right, Black Forest Sour. Smells good. Yeah, all right, I get where they're coming from. It's funny that just five mils of that cherry brandy really sort of pops. Uh, I'm getting the herbaceous, uh, herbaceousness from the, the Jägermeister, that sort of really nice bitterness. Uh, the lemon juice is balancing it out really well. That 10 mils of sugar syrup, yeah, bang on. I thought it was gonna be a little bit sweet. Uh, even on my second uh, sip there, the balance is bang on. Um, that's a really good drink. Here we go, last one, a Jaeger Old Fashioned. How's this one gonna go? Um, haven't tried it once again. This was created by a fella by the name of Florian Buren, who was the UK brand ambassador for Jägermeister in 2017. Hope I pronounced your name uh, right there, Florian. If you think this is gonna be a little bit weird, uh, check out the video at the end, the link. We did a, uh, a Jaeger Reader as well a while ago which is fantastic so um, let's give this a try first up we need 40 mils or ounce and a third of Jägermeister this is going to be a stirred down cocktail make it in our mixing glass then it calls for 20 mils or two-thirds of an ounce of a higher proof bourbon I'm going to use a James E Pepper 1776 20 mils, two thirds of an ounce. Then it calls for five mils of maple syrup. I think I'm gonna trust my pouring skills there. And last but not least, three dashes of a chocolate bitters. I'm using the Feed Brothers Aztec. One, two, three. That were big drops there. I hope that's not gonna uh, overbalance the cocktail. Let's give it a stir down. All right. I hate that awkward silence when, uh, when you're staring down a drink. I should tell a joke. My daughter's saying no, I shouldn't. All right, I better not. So for those of you that watch the videos, you know that I'm just, uh, I'm diluting and chilling down the drink. And I really want to taste this a couple of times. actually pretty good so far. Needs a little bit more dilution. A big thank you too, we just hit 100,000 views uh, last week. So uh, 
Thank you for all our viewers and subscribers. Please subscribe, guys. About 1,400 at the moment. I want to get 14,000. Help us out. All right. I think that's going to be pretty good right there. So, I need some glassware. We're going to put this into a rocks glass. over ice that color looks amazing oh let me try this okay and I'm reading off his specs an orange zest garnish Give it a whirl. A Jaeger old fashioned. I think it's pretty good. Um, there was definitely enough bitters there. 40 mils of Jaeger, bang on. Um, that bourbon is definitely coming through. I can see why he wanted the higher proof. You could even go a cast strength. People might say it's a bit of a waste adding a cast strength to a, a cocktail, but it would sort of punch through a little bit more as well. But that is a very well balanced cocktail. And obviously Jaeger is the hero of it. Um, it's a hero drink, all right? Or it's a hero liqueur spirit, whatever you want to call it. I call it an Amaro. Um, guys, Please get out and buy some Jägermeister. I am not sponsored by these guys, but it is so freaking good um, and is so adaptable. So please like, subscribe. Special shout out to uh, a lot of my viewers in India at the moment as well, guys. Um, it's pretty hard over there with COVID. We're actually in a lockdown at the moment here, but it's nothing compared to what you guys are going through. Special love. Hope you are safe. Well, everybody else obviously around the world too, but um, yeah, we're thinking about you all. See you soon on Let's Talk Drinks.